about insurgency are. And I kind of want to concentrate on this feeling tired. Because so many people in the group come up to me every week and say, oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I have so much to do. Oh. And the thing is, wouldn't we love to never feel tired again? Well, we're going to have to say this a few times. No, thank you. Oh, no, I can't do that, but I'd love to. Thank you for thinking of me, but I'm going to pass this time. See, we are overcommitted. I am overcommitted. And it's because there's so much in life I want to do. I want to do these things. Don't you? Don't you want to do these things? But then we end up being tired. And then it says, have breakfast even if you don't feel hungry. Now, if you need that to be perky, I find I'm feeling better not eating breakfast. But if it makes you feel perky, if it helps you get things done, I'm not talking about a donut here. I'm talking about eggs. I'm talking about some sort of protein. Or like Katie's head on her log wants turkey. And I was like, what a revolutionary idea. Eating turkey for breakfast. You can do that. There's no loss of your breakfast. And then eat every three or four hours. I don't really recommend this for this group because I think you have no trouble eating every three or four hours. I want you to stop eating every three or four hours. Fill up on more fiber. I mean fiber, I'm talking some beans. So one person said, you know, when I was really hungry, I would always want chips. And now I just get a little serving of raisin bran, and, and it helps. It doesn't have the sodium. It's got a lot of fiber. Those raisins are really sweet. She doesn't have the whole box. She just has the serving. Fuel your brain with omega-3s. Now, I was telling Jeannie tonight how much I love salmon, and she went, she did the thing, which I really love. She's like, ugh, I don't like it. <laughs> a lot of people don't like salmon. A, a lot of people, when I say, oh, I really don't care for beets, they're like, are you crazy? I want to marry beets. My whole point is find something healthy that you like and keep eating it. Tuna, salmon, omega-3. Stay hydrated. One of my friends in New York City just wound up in the hospital. She thought she was dying. She thought she was having a stroke. Guess what she was? Dehydrated. We, especially this time of year coming up, we really have to do this. Watch your caffeine intake, especially afternoon. As soon as, I, I made a rule, no caffeine afternoon. I never have one. I'm talking 12 because that I can't have trouble falling asleep. Energize your spirit. I love how it says splash some water on your face. I've never done that. I work during the day, I have makeup on, I'm not gonna be in there. Uh, some people might do that, splash water on the face. It does not something that really invigorates me. A nice shower, I think a, a, a nice shower to me is like, oh, it feels so good. Whenever I'm watching some apocalyptic show, I always think about, oh, when are they ever going to take a shower? You know, I just feel so bad. I, could, I don't think I'd last in the apocalypse because I'd want a shower. Okay. Um, sew up in a power outfit to beat the blocks. When you put on makeup, or guys, I'm not meaning you, uh, or, or I'm not judging on that either. But anyway, you make your earrings match your outfit, you put your nails, you, no matter how you feel, if you look a little bit better. You know, at, at the Memorial Day Parade, my sister and I both said, because we had to get there at 8 a.m. after partying all night, Sunday night, and I said, I look too good to feel this bad. <laughs> we both felt pretty darn good, and we both felt pretty bad. Vet your feelings. I have no, uh, people say, you know, one of my problems is I hold it in. I don't hold it in. I'm like, Bob, can you read this? Or Ma, can you read this? Or G, can you think of this? What about this? You gotta share it. Let go of grudges. The grudges just, like I told you, I've been stewing about this situation. Who am I hurting? This other person, you think they're giving me the time of day? I'm sitting here going, why don't they want to do this? Blah, 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 blah. They're probably like, oh, you have a great time. And just let it go. Take belly breaths. I mean, I really have to work. I have to work on meditation, and I have to work on breathing. Both those things, I really don't spend time thinking about. Um, I really want to work in session 28. I'm just relaxing, having us all have like a Zen group.
maybe I'll have some Dalai Lama type person come in and, 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 and teach us how to read. Do some good. There is nothing. You know, the reason I do the Memorial Day Mass isn't so people will say, oh, Ellen, you did such a great job. Yes, it does feel good when you get positive feedback, but it makes me so happy when the mother of the winner from 17 years ago comes up to me after the Mass and says, my son still talks about being the first Holy Family essay winner. Or when Nora's son won the essay contest and it was on his bucket list. He's in sixth grade and winning the essay contest was on his bucket list. I love that. I never forgot that. And come back on TV and computer time. When I'm exhausted, I cannot watch the news because it just upsets me too much. Okay? And also, hide your phone. My daughter, the one who lives in Vegas, when she gets up at night to go to the bathroom, she's checking her phone, checking her messages, checking Facebook. Don't do that. Those messages and that stuff can wait till the next day. Give your pet its own sleeping space. My son has a, how much does that dog weigh about? About 80 pounds. Around 80 pounds. It's a huge golden retriever. retriever yeah. Sleeps with him in bed on top of him. I don't want any pets sleeping with me. That's my only pet. <laughs> also, lower the, the thermostat. I like it nice and cool. You don't have to worry about a little thermostat from a call house. It's nice and cool. Skip the nightcap. You really shouldn't be drinking alcohol before bed because it gets your, you know, it depresses the nervous system. Get your exercise, but don't do it right before bed. And then, I, I don't follow the 15 minute rule. It says if you can't fall asleep, or if you wake up and can't get back to sleep, get out of bed and do something relaxing. I don't do that. If I can't get to sleep in 15 minutes, I just start saying the rosary in my head. I don't need the beads. I got 10 fingers. I just start with the rosary and it, it always seems to work. Write down your worries. I can't get people to write their name on their food log. So <laughs> <laughs> right down the words. 